the entire coupler is gone on the front of my boat trailer. Oh my god, what the hell? Ah, nothing really happened. You knew that. Well, it's Easter. I haven't done a video in quite a while. I uh, got real busy, real busy, fishing day after day. I posted some reports on my YouTube community page, but I'm going to show you what, on a beautiful Easter Sunday, I mean, in Jacksonville, Florida right now, it couldn't be more grand. It's not hot, bright and sunny, big blue sky, it's about five o'clock in the afternoon. My folks went up to see my aunt and uncle in South Carolina, so I was left to fend for myself, you know, on Easter. No big family dinners, nothing. Oh, wait a minute, look at that damn... Look at that lens. Hold on a second. Hey, is that better? <laughs> I certainly hope so. I want to just go over boat trailer here for you and just give you a little vlogging, I guess you could say, of boat trailer stuff. Since I haven't done a video in quite a while, I know for sure this one's going viral. This one's going to be the top tier video on my channel, which will make 620 videos, I think, on my channel. So, stand back, PewDiePie. Stand back, Roland Martin. I am taking over with this here video. This is a Rolls Axle trailer made in Plant City, Florida, that I've had for, oh my God, at least 16 years. The whole claim to fame on this trailer is that it doesn't have, it doesn't have torsion bars or leaf springs. It's all aluminum. It's got cypress bunks underneath that black vinyl stuff that I change out. I've done videos on that. And the reason being is this is extremely sticky and my boat stays on there really good because my boat's very light for the size of it. And let me get down here. And I know the light's going to be bad. But let me show you why Rolls Axle is different than every other trailer made in the entire world. So, this right here is a bar of steel pressed into an aluminum, you know, square. It's all aluminum. And it goes through this is the spring system and then it comes out the other side with stainless steel spindles on it and it rotates when the tire hits a bump it rotates on this pin system right here and I'll have to get under here a little bit further up right in here right there is a cup and that cup in here in this box which is like hollow my finger can go in here there is a I don't know how you, you call it but if you look right here Right there, 
there is a like a um, it's almost like a plunger and I don't know if it's on this side or up in this cup that there is a rubber uh, pad and as the axle goes up and down it rides on this rubber pad let me get out my flashlight by the way I got a new flashlight folks you got this box system welded to the axle right here is that too much light yeah okay so this is where it goes up and down right here and there's another shot of one that that weld right there broke and I have a video of me taking it to Rolls Axle all the way in Plant City Florida and they cut it and they re-welded it and everything and you can see that that weld is really big and thick where this one this weld is very thin and small and I believe I'm getting some cracks this trailer is I believe 16 years old so there's the other side and what it is it's just a plunger and it rides on like a rubber hard rubber pad it's like a nylon block rides and this trailer is you know unlike torsion bar torsion bars ride real smooth this isn't a really smooth riding trailer but what do I care I mean when the bottom of your boat is a solid quarter inch thick one piece of marine grade alloy you don't really give a shit and then what they do is on the wood you put in shims here to get the angle of your bunks and you can see a shim right there there's a shim here and there's a shim right there so I have no complaints really that much about this trailer I've done some crazy things like putting on because sometimes I have to load the trailer in shallowish water and you can see right here where the boat used to bang and now instead of banging it eats up this PVC. How do you like that MacGyverism? That's some serious MacGyver right there. Putting a cover on uh, that framing. There's a framing there that I got a rubber pad on. Because of course I knocked off the little nylon that was on it. So that's the key feature about a Rolls Axle trailer. And uh, I've schnazzed it up. I put, you know, reflectors and shit like that. But another thing was, is when you bought this trailer, it wasn't even an option back then. It's an option now. I have stainless steel hubs, stainless steel uh, studs, and stainless steel uh, nuts. For a 16-year-old trailer, it's been doing pretty good. <coughs> of course, I've got this ladder, and it's mounted to the side here and really kind of jury-rigged for the sheer fact that... Um, used to be mounted right here going up to the bow and I used to stand I always get on I get on the tongue 
and I w used to walk up the ladder. Well, then the problem was, is I stuck my anchor roller on, and that's a little hard to climb over. So what I did is I jury-rigged the ladder to the side. And as you can see, it's on a bit of an angle. But believe it or not, I go, I scuttle up and down that, no problems. No problems. Okay, well I'm gonna spare you all the dirty details, but this is my coupler that is missing. That this is my Easter project. And the reason I had my coupler off is this was super rusty. See how if you can see that's nice and smooth. And then you get into here and it's all bumpy. All bumpy. Let's see on the other side. Oh, all bumpy. Because that was rust. This is just plain old steel. And it's getting a little thin. Right in there. It's getting thin. I mean, that's thick. And that is thin. Because I knocked off all the rust. And I repainted it. Now, common sense would say you could go to West Marine, let's say. Okay? You know, America's boating superstore, right? And they would have an entire array of trailer parts. Oh, no, they don't. They don't have trailer parts for nothing. They got little tiny couplers for a jet ski trailer. Not for a 27 foot long trailer. That's what mine is. You can see it's all bumpy because that's where I step with my foot, believe it or not. I'm going to try to not step there because I wear these constantly now. White shrimper boots. So, I can't find this. And I needed a project. So here it is. This is on here. Just like that. But, whatever would happen, even though these bolts will be tighter than Dick's hat band, whatever happened if you got a crack here? Well, you hit a bump, and then what happens? Everything starts rotating on this one bolt, right? That's a possibility. And, you know, I'm just a tinkering MacGyver kind of a guy. And what happens if I got a crack here or something? Because, you know, I'm going over Jacksonville streets and roads and bridges with big giant dips in them. So what I did, let me show you. What I did, because my middle name is MacGyver, you know, if you ever remember MacGyver, he had no money. He had no resources. Well, that's me. Here is something that I just made. And it looks really bad. I got this side great, this side I didn't. Because all I had is a vise, a torch, and a plate of steel. Now I also had a plate of aluminum could have used aluminum and it would have bent very much more nicely. Maybe I should have used the aluminum. But let me show you what I did. Let me grab the bolts here. And I'll need them. <laughs> I'll need that wrench. 
Remember, folks, this is going viral. This video is going to be so unbelievable. So, in case I ever got a crack in this, or anything, what I did is I made a strap to go over it to hold this down no matter what. So, if I take this, and I'm only out here doing this because I was waiting for the paint to dry. Let me put the camera down. And then, my strap, in case something ever went wrong, because this is getting weakish, and then, filthy now and what I'm gonna do just for shits and giggles put a little grease on these threads now I've got a bit of backup because I do not know when I'm gonna be able to get a new coupler so in the charter fishing business this is this is the thing folks count on your equipment, right? 100%. And there is no stopping. Stopping means bankruptcy. So, if somebody calls me tomorrow, and let's say I'm not feeling super confident with this. Okay. I am a maintenance-y, MacGyver-ish kind of guy. I want to have a backup plan and my backup plan is a strap so let's take a little closer look at it it's not pretty I got a bit of a gap there okay. a bit of a gap it's just a strap over it because when I put this bolt in if this cracks and gives way, I want something to hold it. Crazy as it sounds, that is a safety. Fifteen years ago, at least, somewhere in that ballpark, sixteen years ago, this trailer cost $6,800. Now, granted, they had a ladder built. This trailer is probably 10,000 dollars, if not real close. You can see, I couldn't bend it very great, but it's an insurance policy. Something underneath cracks, and this front pushes down. This is going to catch it. This is going to catch it. And um, that's my idea to keep me going along. If this ever fails in here, for whatever reason, the strap is over it. It was just bothering me. It's got a big long neck on it that's always better because when you back down you're not putting your tires into the water it's a 26 foot boat on I believe this is a this is damn near a 28 foot boat trailer because you've got all these where you got holes up underneath the tire here you can move it forward and this whole winch stand 
if this was say a 28 foot boat this winch stand can move all the way to like right here so I had this room to play with so of course I got the spare tire there nobody called the fish today they called the fish yesterday and the day before when it was blowing like holy hell. Yesterday it was what? I think about this time it was uh, gusts up to 40 miles an hour. Why somebody calls you? No, it was Friday. Friday it was gusting up to 40 miles an hour. And even yesterday it was blowing 2025. And why people call you at 7 o'clock at night? to go the next morning. Do they ever look outside? Totally clueless about the weather. But that's the reason they call me because I know the weather and I know they don't. Thanks for watching my Rolls Axle Trailer maintenance video and a little bit about good old Rolls Axle Trailer in Plant City, Florida. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. See you on the next one.